Hi there guys! Welcome to the vlog. Today is September 15, Tuesday. And in this video, we're going to talk about 5 simple tips in improving your filmmaking skills. But before that, disclaimer, I'm not a professional but these are the things that I consider in making one. Excited? Me too! <laughs> If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. Click that notification bell, click that like button, and comment down below. Let's go! Tip number one, always choose your team properly. Choosing your team is one of the most important decisions that you'll ever make as a filmmaker. Make sure you get it right and work with the people as hardworking and as passionate about the project as you are. Piliin mo kung sino yung mga taong mayroong mga ideas or yung puso niya is nandun din sa paggawa ng filmmaking. Kasi kung hindi, hindi gaganda yung ginagawa niyo. Kasi wala kang kabatuhan ng mga ideas. Lagi ako nagtatanong sa kanya, maganda ba itong shot na to? Okay ba ito yung, yung tunog? Akma ba? Masyado ba masakit sa tenga tong part na to? Kasi, if hindi ka pumili ng someone na gusto yung ginagawa mo, tutulungan ka lang yan. Sige, ganyan siya. Ayun, parang ka Maganda ba yun siya? Uh, oh, maganda yan. Okay, okay. Diba? So, always choose your team properly. Or always choose someone that is as passionate as you are about the project. Tip number two. The most important part of a film is the story and its characters. So before you start doing a film, always think who are the characters, what is the concept of your film. So make sure that the story, the characters, and the script is the best it can be. Rewrite, rewrite, rewrite. Why do we rewrite stars? So what kang magsasawa mag-rewrite ng mga scripts or the storyline hanggang sa makuha mo yung concept or hanggang sa makuha mo yung storyline na akma at yung gusto mo at yung sa tingin mo maganda yung takbo. Why? Kasi pag nagawa mo na yung first part ng film then pumunta na sa second part bigla mong naayawan yung second part mahihirapan ka kasi babalik ka na naman sa first part kasi syempre hindi naman pwedeng yung kwento nito is iba yung sa kwento nito. Gets nyo? So always make sure that you know your storyline, you know your characters, and you know everything in your film. Tip number three, never waste the time of those people that you're asking to do films with you. Why? Kung baga, hiningi mo na nga yung tulong nila dahil hindi ka pa pala ready. Huwag na huwag mo sasayangin yung oras ng mga kasamahan mo. Dapat pag tinawag mo sila, nakalatag na yung storyline kung saan magsisimula hanggang sa tapos at nakalatag na yung mga desisyon mo kung ano yung mga gagawin yung una para smooth sailing yung mga ganap nyo. Always be mindful of what you're doing, kids mo. Opo, kuya. Gets ko po. Gets ko po. Gets nyo? Gets ko kasi. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. So, tip number four. Always show your appreciation. Simply say thank you means a lot to someone. Pag humingi ka ng tulong sa iba, always say thank you. Appreciate them. Kasi sinasabi sa inyo, gaganda yung takbo ng trabaho nyo. Kasi ang sarap gumalaw sa isang lugar or sa isang environment na positive ang lahat ng tao. Kaya kung ako sa'yo, focus ka lang sa trabaho mo. Be appreciative all the time. Say simple words like, thank you, uh, it looks good. Parang i-appreciate mo lang gawa niya. Kung ka-appreciate naman. Or, if hindi naman, say it in a nice way. Tell them kung ano yung kailangan nila improve Tell them kung ano yung kailangan nilang mas gandahan. Improve na nga, mas gandahan. Basta yun, always, always appreciate them. Hindi naman masama maging kind sa ibang tao, lalo't lalo na kung humingi ka ng tulong sa kanila. Let's go to tip number 5. Ayun lang, kailangan pa naman ako nilang. Yung! Tip number 5. Don't complain. Ito yung mga madalas na problema ng mga tao. Once na mahirapan sila, nagko-complain na agad sila. Hindi nila pinupush yung mga sarili nila through their limits. Once na mahirapan sila sa isang bagay, nagko-complain na agad sila. And worse, tinitigil nila yung mga bagay na nagpapahirap sa nila. Pero naisip nyo ba kung ano yung pinasok nyo? Dapat, bago pa pumasok sa isang bagay, alam nyo na na mahirap yun. Huwag nyo isipin na madali. Kasi, pag nahirapan kayo, for sure, ititigil nyo. As a filmmaker, syempre, minsan gagabihin ka. Syempre, may mga shoot ka na kailangan gabi. So, you need to have patience in doing those kinds of shoots, right? Just put all your effort, all your love to the project. Be mindful. And ayun, I think your film will look good and you'll have a kicking ass film in the film industry. 
So disclaimer, I am not a professional, but these are the things that I consider when I'm making my own films or my own short films. Because I am an aspiring artist and I am hustling to do good, to improve more, to upgrade, to level up, kung ano pang mga ibang synonyms nun, para mapaganda yung mga bagay na, or para mapaganda yung film na ginagawa ko. That is my five simple tips for you guys for you to be better in the film industry or in doing films by yourself. So, let's make a quick recap. Tip number one, choose your team properly. Tip number two is know your story and your character before starting a film. Tip number three, never skimp on pre-production. And tip number four is show your appreciation towards others. And tip number five, don't complain. So, ayun na nga po, no? sana nakatulong ako sa inyong mga aspiring film makers like me. And kahit konti is mabigyan ko kayo ng mga knowledge to make your next film looks even better. So, once again, I'm Mario Francisco and you're still watching my vlogs. Thank you po sa panonood.